Hi, I'm just going to do a quick video, I hope, about uh, a little tiny bit of, of simple theory for ukulele. Um, and it's just basically to let you realise exactly why, when you put your finger there to make the first chord that everybody seems to learn, which is the C, exactly why your fingers go in there to make a chord of C. So I'm just going to refer you to this little um, piece of uh, technology called a piece of paper. And you can see that I've written out the, word, the letters C to C. Um, the reason music's taught beginning at the beginning in, in, in the key of C is because C is actually the most simple um, tune. If you, if you find C on a piano, you'll notice it's the word one before the two black notes. That's what those denote, the black notes on a piano. And you can see they go up in twos. And there's a space where I've put a cross. And then threes and then there's a space then you get another two and then another three all the way from the bottom of the keyboard to the top of the keyboard and C is if you played those white keys all the way up from C to C you get a proper scale there are no sharps or flats in it every other note uh, on the keyboard from the A to the G every other one would have sharps or flats in it but C doesn't so it's the most simple one to teach from the beginning you can see I've numbered them one to eight the full octave um, from C to C, one to eight octave, oct eight note. Um, so I'm going to just explain um, why when you put that finger there, you can make a chord of C by playing all the notes together. To get a chord, all chords, no matter what chords they are, you have to have the first which is called the root note, so C, obviously in this chord of C, it's going to be, you're going to need a C, and that's the root note, the, the number one, the root note. The uh, E is the third, so um, you might have heard of the uh, major third, that's the, it's one of the lyrics in Hallelujah by um, Leonard Cohen, um, so that's the third, and then the fifth, uh, often called the perfect fifth as well and five is quite important um, you, you might have heard of something called the circle of fifths five is quite important in, in music it also comes into if you've heard of the pentatonic scale it's the five notes that um, you used in, in most um, scales to, to uh, allow you to play quite um, good riffs without making any uh, nasty sounds because you've got the pentatonic scale the five notes that go together well Okay, so um, any, any chord then, you need the first, the third and the fifth notes in that scale to get a, uh, a, a good um, sound. So the C, we, we need to put um, C's, G's and E's in. Well, think about how we are tuned when we first tune up our, our uh, ukulele and it's sounding like that. This string at the top here, nearest to your chin, is a G. And that's the fifth note, the G. So you've got the perfect fifth there. The next note lower down from your chin is a C. That's a root note. Then the one below that is tuned open as an E. That's the third, the E, the third note and then we've got an A which doesn't it's not a G a C or an E so it's an A so to make it a C A if we put our finger there it becomes an A sharp B now between B as you can see on here and C there is no sharp so there's no B sharp so when we've got the the B there we're into a C there so we're making that A instead of being G C E A by putting our finger there we're making it G C E C so we've got two C's two root notes one third the E and one fifth the G so when we put our finger there it becomes the chord of C. Um, that about wraps up what I wanted to just 
show you today it's not a very technical lesson at all um, I will, I'm going to do another video actually and just put a song on and see if anybody fancies it for, for the book um, but that's all the, the theory I wanted you to um, to know really um, just about why when we put our fingers in certain positions and it gets a lot more complicated than that because as soon as you go into other keys like F there's you know there's a there's a, a flat in there if you go into G there's a sharp in there all the other keys are more complicated than the C so it would take a lot longer to explain and the video would run on a long time and I don't want to do that so um, I thought I'd just stop there uh, but I will be coming back to this when I do my next bit of teaching which is a sort of introduction simple introduction to using bar chords and movable chords on the ukulele so that's what I'll be doing in about a week's time okay so I'll uh, post this up in a minute and then I'll get on with a, a song see if anybody fancies having it in the uh, in book number two okay see you later <laughs>